In today's video, we're gonna go through five GA4 tricks and we don't have much time, so let's go straight to the browser. Here we are in the e-commerce purchases by item name standard report. And let's say we wanna understand how our categories perform. We can do it easily by switching this dimension here, but also we can customize this report by clicking on the pencil icon here. And by saying to GA4, we want our primary dimension instead of item name to be item category. We wanna set it as default, apply, and here is the same report that we were looking at just by changing this drop down here. I'm sorry for the interruption, but now is the time for the message from a sponsor, which is Data Driven You. The content that you see in this video is just the tip of the iceberg when you compare it to the content that's available in GA4 course that Data Driven You offers, and it's accessible on this link. Now let's go back. Let's say we wanted to make this report accessible to anybody that's opening this J4 property, no matter if it's your C-suite people or just a junior analyst, you would have to save this report as a new one, call it e-commerce by category, and save it. That's the first part of the equation. The second one would be to go into reports submenu here on the left-hand side, open library, and simply customize your collection by adding this report into one of your current topics. We want to find category. Here it is, e-commerce by category. We want to add it into the monetization collection. E-commerce by category. Here it is. Save this current collection. And from this moment on, once you open your reporting segment here, it will be available e-commerce by category. Here it is. Now let's move on to the trick number three. What if you wanted to explore deeper these categories and say you want to understand by category how often do people ask for refund and what is the actual amount of the refund that gets asked for by category? You apply this and see it here. But it's actually not front and center metric and you don't want it accessible to everybody who's opening this report. So you don't want to go and save this as a current or a new report. Instead, you want to go back and discard this change. And you want to turn this report into an exploration by clicking on this strange combo, edit comparison, and then click on explore here at the bottom right corner. And your report is turned into an exploration right now. From this point on, you can add, for example, refund metrics here and then double click here once it's available in the left hand side and here are your refunds by category. Now the next superpower that we want to present here in the explorations is actually segmenting of these results. So you would want to, for example, segment users that actually came via, let's say, Google as a source. And the moment you create the segment is going to be applied here. Now, this table is kind of cumbersome with all these metrics. So I want to get rid of some of them. Let's leave only, for example, items viewed and then item revenue. It can be a nice comparison of performance of your PDPs when you compare how many times an item has been viewed versus how much money it made. Now let's add another segment. This time we want people who first came via Facebook. So right now you have a nice table that compares by category how do your customers perform. For example, when you look at the bundle category, you can see that Facebook users saw it 41K times and bought $23,000, whereas Google users saw it five times less, but bought only three times less. So this makes it a good candidate for the calculated metrics. And if at the moment of watching this video, calculated metrics are already available in GA4, you will be able to find them in the admin panel. We are gonna definitely make a video about them once they are available. And for now, I wanna show you the fifth superpower, which is sharing the exploration. So have in mind that right now, you are the only person who sees this exploration. So if the insights from this table are important to other people in your organization, make sure to click on this button and make your exploration accessible in read-only mode. 
I hope that you will find at least one of these tricks useful and if you do please click the like button and subscribe to our channel.